I've already pre-shuffled and I'll be using two oracle cards for your oracle advice. Then we'll go through the past, present, challenge, then outcome. So Taurus, for your oracle advice we have surprise. Now on the flip side of this card it says keep an open mind the influence of grace is often found in unexpected places. So that's with surprise. And then it's paired with, I choose love no matter what. So for your oracle advice today, it's basically saying that um, it's important to keep an open mind and to choose love no matter what happens, no matter what the outcome. Just choose love, no matter what the situation. Try, well, I know sometimes it's hard, but try to choose love. Because um, a lot of times we're dealing with people that affect us in a negative way. But it's important to choose love and um, keep an open mind. Um, because you'll find grace in unexpected places. And when you choose love, a lot of times you find a whole lot more than grace. So, love is stronger than hate. Just remember that. So, let's move on down to the recent past. And we have the Ace of Swords, and it's paired with the Hierophant. So, just to explain the Ace of Swords, it can indicate new beginnings of some sort in your life, possibly on several fronts. So, more than just one. Sometimes this new beginning can be started by a separation of some kind from a relationship, from a job, from a situation. Just know that as anxiety producing as such new beginnings can sometimes be, underneath it all is good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go and where you really need to be. Now this Ace of Swords, it calls on us not to be afraid to make a leap if it's in our best interest. And when it's talking about love and relationships, the ace can mean that you're ready to start something new. And if you're currently in a committed relationship, it could indicate that there's something about the relationship that you'll choose to put a stop to. Because there's a sword. Sword means cutting out. So something you, you probably choose to cut out, put a stop to. Don't hesitate to speak your mind. If something in the relationship is hurtful or bad for you and you lose your partner because you said so or you said certain things, just know that you haven't really lost. You're being guided to a relationship that's better for you. So the Ace of Swords is saying speak the truth at this time. And it's paired with the Hierophant. Now the Hierophant, you could be searching for the meaning of life and you're considered to be a great loyal friend. When this type of person is called on for advice, help, or with some import, or with some import, I can't get my words out, or with some important personal matters, their intelligence puts them in a position to provide tremendous support. So keep in mind, this could be you or someone coming toward towards you or it could be someone that you know this person is also quick-witted well-educated a wise teacher marked by integrity quite frankly they are the genuine article a true blue highly admired individual who walks the walk and talk the talk and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions now when we're talking about relationships and love and you get the higher front if you want to know how your partner is feeling just know that they love you very very deeply and it's a love that cannot be broken so those two cards are the recent past we have the ace of swords and the higher front they're basically letting you know that in the recent past you probably 
or trying to start some type of new beginning or you're probably forced into a new beginning and there were new beginnings on several levels several fronts um, and it was started by a separation of some kind maybe you moved from a neighborhood that you had lived in for years maybe a relationship ended and you were with that person for a long time but once those ended or once um something was put a stop to uh there were there were a lot of new beginnings that came your way a whole lot of them with this ace of swords and you were probably searching for the meaning of life at that time with this hierophant so um there could have been someone in the picture in the recent past that loved you a lot a whole lot with the hierophant um, they were probably very moral and ethical kind of a traditional type of person with the hierophant and they were a part of your new beginnings but you had several new beginnings in the recent past but there was something you also put a stop to and it helped to create the new beginnings so that's what we have for you in the recent past now let's move on down let's take a look at the present time we have the world card and judgment so the world card it's about completion you worked hard and you're almost to the finish line in some way so just don't quit now because you're so close you're almost definitely in you're almost definitely in need of some well-deserved rest and relaxation at this time don't be afraid to take it you're getting closer and closer to who you really are at your deepest levels now when it comes to work there's a very good chance that you're working way too hard for far little recognition and money at the sun so it's going to be important if this is the case to toot your own horn blow your own horn a little to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments that's the world card and it's paired with judgment judgment can be about jumping to conclusions decisions and of course judgments that are too hastily made if you know that you're prone to doing this doing such things like that this is a clear signal slow down give things more thought give people more chances this can also be a time of spiritual awakening with this judgment card so for these two cards paired together world card and judgment for your present time well uh, there's something that you're probably working on and you probably feel like it's just never gonna come to life or it's just never going to happen, but it's something that you, you want to happen. But you don't realize that you're closer to the finish line than you think with this world card. So don't stop. Don't quit now. You're really close and you just don't know it. You just, you probably don't feel it. You don't see it. Don't quit now. You get there sooner than you think you will because the world card is about completion. You're working hard, though, and um, just don't stop. You probably feel like stopping um, because the judgment is there. Uh, you're probably being um, really judgmental about what you're trying to complete. You're probably being hard on yourself, or someone could be doing this to you, making you feel like you should just stop. But I'm, I'm, take this as a warning. Do not stop. You're closer than you think. Who's ever judging you or being over judgmental? Uh, yeah. It's causing a problem because, like I said, it's, it's making you think that you're not going to complete what you're trying to do. But you're about to complete it. This is about completion. And um, so stop jumping to conclusions, okay? Give yourself more credit at this time. And if someone's not doing this to you, if they're being too harsh on you and making you think that uh, you can't do this or it's not gonna happen, uh, 
you you got the ace of swords up there in our recent past you might want to cut them out that's what the swords does it's in your recent past but pull it back out cut them out okay because um you don't need that at this time because like i said you're so close to what you're trying to accomplish but you can't see it because you've got some judgmental person on your back so cut them out all right so that's for the present time now let's move on down and take a look at what we have for the challenge we have the empress and then it's paired with a moon card now keep in mind when you get the empress it's about not playing by the rules this empress has her own way of doing things and her own ideal of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors that does not mean that she'll always get her way but she's a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side she can signify abundance but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially there are many types of wealth and riches in life and money is only one of them the empress can encompass any or all of them the empress is paired with a moon card you're in a more psychic and intuitive phase than usual so it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions even if you don't know where they are coming from also not that you need to be mistrusting but it will be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears in a reading it's possible that all is not what it seems if you feel you cannot trust someone then you probably cannot go with your gut instincts at this time if you're waiting on an answer from someone it may unfortunately take longer than you would like for it to so you're gonna have to try to stay patient so the moon card and the empress for your challenge is basically letting you know that um you've got your own you got your own style you got your own way of doing things um you you you're really intuitive and psychic at this time with the moon card um you're feeling you're coming into abundance um a lot of people could be drawn to you at this time with this empress okay a lot of people and um um so you ha you're gonna have a lot of you're having a lot of success or you will be soon with as the empress and um use your intuition don't for don't forget about your intuition if you're a female virgo listening uh, we're blessed with a really strong intuition when we come out of uh our parents our mother's belly women are blessed with that that intuition and a lot of times we don't use it but with this moon card you might be feeling that you cannot trust something okay like i said you're going to have a lot of people drawn to you at this time as an empress so if you if you're not trusting some type of situation uh go back to the past pull out that ace of swords and cut it out if that's what your mind is telling you something's not right get the sword and cut it out okay you're on point at this time you're um very sharp very sharp and you're on point and like I said, there's something that you may feel there's deception going on. And that's what the moon card does. There's some type of deception probably. Uh, you could feel that someone's wearing a mask. All right. And you're just, you're feeling it and you're, you're on point. You're right. So cut it out. All right. And then that's what we have for the challenge. Now let's move on down to the outcome we have the two of cups and it's paired with the ten of wands so the two of cups is about romantic partnership but it's not its only connotation it can speak of balance friendship joy sharing in general this card says that things are likely to be going well you should be feeling more than usually loved cared for and content this two of cups is paired with the ten of wands so you may feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden you may need to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load 
either literally or figuratively. If you look carefully, you could find that part of the burden that you're carrying actually belongs to someone else. So it's going to be important for you to pace yourself at this time. Don't try to take on too much. Don't do that. And I tell you why. Because you got this beautiful two of cups. You, you want to enjoy that because everyone does not get the two of cups in a lifetime. Some people just don't see it in a whole lifetime. The two of cups is about harmony, union. Uh, it's a romantic love. It's a partnership. It could be a proposal. Someone wanting to propose. Someone wanting to marry, marry you. It's the two of cups. Is that twin flame? It's a union. It's a beautiful thing. And like I said, a lot of people do not get to experience it once in their whole lifetime. But you've got, you've got it. It's two of cups. It's there for you, or it's coming in it's coming towards you okay but you got this burden something that's weighing you down something something's making you feel like it's it's just too much and you, you might miss out on this two of cups because uh you, you something's got you feeling like you're going through a rough time okay this two of cups will it will lift you up so make sure you keep your eyes on the prize at this time and that's going to be the outcome so Taurus I hope you enjoyed this reading I'm going to try to put a link below for an extended version of this reading that's if I get a chance to and I, I may or, or I may or I may not be able to but I'm going to try to do an extended um, I have a lot of readings to get caught up on um, and I'll go over a lot more in the extended of this reading. I just want to say I really thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when I post my next reading. Taurus, I hope that you're having a wonderful 2020. And I also want to say that I hope that you're having a really great day and a beautiful February.